So welcome to the first class of trigonometry now. So we are going to start with a new topic which we have already touched in grade 10th as well. So just be confident, just understand every point that we would be discussing and by the end of the topic you would be super confident to handle any question from anywhere. So that is the target. So just listen to each point which we are discussing in today's class because ultimately even in today's class you would be solving many questions by yourself. So let's start with the basic theory first of all. So let's start understanding the basics of a right angle triangle once again actually. So let this be a right angle triangle. So we can see that this is the height, this is the base and this is the hypotenuse. So I'm just naming this hypotenuse as H. Let the base be B and let the perpendicular be P. Just for the sake of convenience, I have named this as the perpendicular which is represented by this P. This is the base of this triangle and this is the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. So there are some and let us name this angle over here is theta. This angle over here is theta. So in a right angle triangle, there are certain trigonometric ratios that were already known to us. So we'll just focus upon, first of all, we'll focus upon those trigonometric ratios that were known to us. So first, one of them was actually sin theta. Sin theta, we know that sin theta stands for perpendicular upon hypotenuse. In this right angle triangle, sin theta is what perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So just keep this thing very clearly in your mind. This should be, be completely there in our mind once again, nothing special. So sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Next comes cos theta, cosine. So this was actually the full form of this sin theta is actually sine of this angle, S-I-N-E. Next is cosine, which is C-O-S-I-N-E. So cosine of the angle, the short version is actually cos theta, which we know is base upon hypotenuse. This is the basic, these are the basic terms which we have already dealt with. Next comes tan theta, which stands for perpendicular upon base. Perpendicular upon base. And if you'll notice, it is straightforward, same as sine theta upon cos theta. If I divide sine theta by cos theta, it stands for tan theta. So th these are the formulas, these are the basic trigonometric ratios that were known to us. And in grade 10th, we have already understood this basic, basic logic that actually since sin theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse, perpendicular upon hypotenuse, and in a right angle triangle, we can clearly sense that the perpendicular would be shorter than the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse would be the longest side. So perpendicular upon hypotenuse would be surely a fraction between 0 to 1. So this would be a fraction. In the case we are talking only about an acute angle triangle right now. So this would be a fraction. Any number in decimal, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.4, but it would be for sure less than 1. And the similar understanding is actually valid for cos theta as well. Cos theta is base upon hypotenuse. So we know that the base of the triangle would be for sure shorter than the hypotenuse. So this would again be a fraction and by fraction I mean the, a number between 0 to 1 in this case. It would be between 0 to 1. We are specifically talking right now about an, about an acute angle triangle. So these were the terms that were already known to us. So the first new term that we are going to discuss in today's class is this actually. So it is actually cosecant theta. It is cosecant theta. So cosecant theta is actually the reciprocal of sin theta. So sin theta was perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So cosecant theta would be equal to hypotenuse upon perpendicular. It would be hypotenuse upon perpendicular. So it is simply the reciprocal of sin theta. Whatever be the value of sin theta, it is simply the reciprocal of that. It is again a fraction, just like this one. It is, it is again a ratio, not a fraction exactly. And next is secant theta secant theta. This one is cosecant theta. I'm just writing the full form also over here. It is cosecant theta. Theta. Which we are simply representing as cosec theta over here. Next is secant theta. Which stands for hypotenuse upon base. This is actually the reciprocal of cosine theta. Now this is actually I'm writing the full form also, also over here. It is secant theta. Nothing special, it's just a new ratio. Nothing new we have done until, until this moment. Next is secant theta. And the last one to be learnt is cot theta. 
cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta and that is actually base upon perpendicular. It is simply the reciprocal of cot theta. It is simply the reciprocal of tan theta. So just now we have heard three new trigonometric ratios other than the one that were known to us. So first one is cosecant theta that is actually now the reciprocal of sine theta. It is now hypotenuse upon perpendicular. Next is secant theta that is actually hypotenuse upon base. It is exactly the reciprocal of uh, cos theta. So just remember them exactly as the reciprocals of the term that were known to us. So if someone asks us directly, we know that cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cos theta. Cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta. So now can we see that since this sine theta was a fraction, and if we go to the, this point cosecant theta, so can we see that now this hypotenuse is bigger, is a bigger number as compared to the perpendicular. So cosecant theta for acute and for an acute angle triangle, we know that this would be a number which would be greater than one, greater than or equal to one. In fact, similarly, the similar logic actually applies for this secant theta, which would be again greater than one. Cot theta and tan theta are two separate entities, so they are they are not defined by the by 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 these. Uh, definitions as such. So cosecant theta we know that this is a number which would be greater than 1. Secant theta would be a number greater than 1. If someone gives me a question whether this is possible or not, let's say secant theta is equal to 0 0.5, I directly know that this is not possible. Why? Because secant theta, the answer of secant theta is actually hypotenuse upon base and hypotenuse is for sure greater than, than the base. So the answer has to be greater than 1. So secant theta is equal to 0 0.5 is not possible. We clearly know this. So these are the new terms, just write them down and learn them from this moment onwards. Nothing new, nothing special. So this is the first page, which is very important. Now let's move uh, uh, one step further.